At the end of each project, we're going to be working with a Cooking 101 website. Now this Cooking 101 website will be our final project. It'll be a project that you will have in order to show your capabilities with Animate CSS. So let's explore the files and what we'll be working with with both the sample project and the actual demo project. So on each project or each section that you start with, you'll have a 01 start and you have a 02 finished. Now the 01 start in each video you can start from, unless you want to continue where you left off, but if for some reason your code gets messed up, you can download the sample files here and you can start from those files. Now the 02 finished files is mostly for your reference. If you mess something up and you want to go in and look at how I did the code, you can go in there and look at how I did the code there. So first, we're going to take a look at the start test, and this is basically what we're going to be working with throughout most of the videos. And then at the end of each section, we're going to go into this project. Now, the project is where we're going to have more content and more of a functional website that's a responsive website, and that's where we'll go in and apply something. And that's really more of what you would show to like a potential employer or something like that. Now, I have this 03 example just to show you the example of an already animated website that we're going to be animating. And so that's kind of the finished project, just so you can take a look at that. But I want to come in here and I want to go into this start test and I want to open this up inside of a text editor. Now you can use any text editor that you're comfortable with. I am going to be using Sublime. So if you want to use the same text editor as me, then I'd highly recommend that you download Sublime Text and you use Sublime Text here. Now I opened up this folder so I can see all of the files here. I, on a Mac, you can just drag that down to the icon, but if you're on a PC, you can open up Sublime and from a Finder window, just drag the entire folder over and then you'll see all the content over on the left-hand side. I'm gonna open up this HTML file. I'm also gonna come back into here and I'm going to open up by double clicking into that folder and then double clicking on the index.html file to open up that website. So this is what we're going to be working with in most of the videos. Now this is just a section of the finished website and so we're just going to be animating these different sections here which has an image, it has a heading text, and then it has a paragraph text. The reason why we're doing this is because I want you to get familiar with how to animate div tags and not just an image or not just text or anything like that. So that is the sample project that we're going to be working with. Let's go into the code and just take a look at it. We're using for the actual layouts, we're using Bootstrap. Now this is not a course about Bootstrap, so we're not gonna cover how I actually created the layouts or anything like that. Feel free to take a look at Pluralsight's Bootstrap 4 courses, but we're using Bootstrap 4 here. Now as you go through here, you'll notice different columns, like our different sections here, and you'll notice the images that I'm pointing to, and a couple bootstrap classes like this image fluid, which just basically makes the image responsive. And that's all that we have. We have these four columns, column three, column three, and that's basically just taking out of 12 columns is just going to, this section is going to take three of those columns. And so that's really all that we're going to work with in the example files or in the main files. Um, but once we get into the demo project, let's open that up real quick. I'm going to close that out, come back into here, and then I'm going to open up the start project here. And so we're going to come in and open that up in Sublime. So just drag it into Sublime if you want to open up the folder. And so I'm going to come in here and double click on that index.html file. And you'll see here that we have a lot more to this file. So we have a banner area, we have three columns, we still have that same column, that same section as we had in that other sample file. But then we have a couple info sections, we have a couple images with some text as well. Let's actually go through and take a look at what this looks like as the final result. So we have this big banner with Cooking 101, the basics. We're going to have that uh, title fade in. We're going to have the background fade in as well. And then we're going to have these th four different sections here. So this is what we're going to be working with most of the time. And this is in our final project as well. We have this other section with text, a nice phone image there. We have this other section with a, a laptop and some text, a call to action spot, and then a quote down at the bottom as well as a footer there. So this is kind of your more completed websites that gives you a better example to show to future employers as well. I'm gonna take this course and I'm gonna show you that it is responsive. 
So as you start to scroll down to the different sizes, it does respond, it does adapt to the different screen sizes. Those are the files that we're going to be working with. So this project file we are not going to be working with throughout this section, but we are going to be working with this at the very end of each section. So let's take a look at one more thing before we finish here. I'm going to come into the example and I'm going to double click on the index.html. So you notice with this index.html we had that animates. I'm going to hit refresh again. We have the background fading in and we have the text sliding in from the left. So that's just a quick example. Let me scroll down and show you kind of the different sections. You can see that as I click on something, different things will happen. They'll bounce and you can see that also this iPhone kind of flies in this uh, laptop flies in as well. So this is the kind of stuff that we're going to be doing. We're going to take this demo project file that really has no life to it, no animations at all, and then we're going to apply those animations and we're going to do it in various different ways. We're going to sequence animations as well. So we have a lot to cover and so let's go ahead and get into how to download animate CSS and attach it to your project.